Security Council staff pose with the Secretary General for an annual photograph. Then it's order. business as usual in the chamber. Like the most other member states, those represented here unwilling to comment publicly on the extraordinary letter sent by U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Uh, Ambassador, did you receive the letter from Nikki Haley about uh, Jerusalem? Uh, many letters every day. The majority view apparently summed up by one representative who was willing to comment. Look, our, our position on this case has been very clear. We, we've had the opportunity to express ourselves in the Security Council. So, uh, so that's our very strongly principled uh, position. Sweden was one of the 14 council members who voted in favor of the Jerusalem Resolution Monday. Mm. The veto by the U.S. accompanied by an angry statement from the Not ambassador. Stations. What we witnessed here today in the Security Council is an insult. It won't be forgotten. What some would regard as a thinly veiled threat driven home in a letter circulated to all member states regarding the vote taking place in the General Assembly Thursday. As you consider your vote, the ambassador writes, I want you to know that the president and the U.S. take this vote personally. She continues, the president will be watching this vote carefully and has requested I report back on those countries who voted against us. President Trump made clear what the possible consequences could be. They take hundreds of millions of dollars and even billions of dollars and then they vote against us. Well, we're watching those votes. Let them vote against us. We'll save a lot. We don't care. But privately, many UN members are outraged at the letter's bullying and threatening tone and what was to be a vote condemning attempts to unilaterally change the status of Jerusalem may gain even added significance. In November, more than 150 nations voted in favor of a resolution declaring all Israeli actions in Jerusalem as null and void as it was an occupying power. A similar result in the General Assembly Thursday would also be a sweeping international rejection of President Trump and his policies. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, United Nations.